Hi everybody, my name is Maria Maria. I'm from the Philippines and this is my part two, day two or whatever you want to call it on my journey of tidying out my room using the KonMari method. Now for those of you who are watching this video for the first time, I would recommend you guys to watch the day one where I explain everything about this method. Well, not really everything, but of course how I go about it and the important stuff that you need to know. Don't worry, the link is posted down below. Be sure to watch that, okay? So today I'm gonna be purging my bags, shoes, scarves, sunglasses, caps, and everything else which are part of my wearables and which still falls down under the stage one of the KonMari method. And yes, I'm still not done on the stage one. I literally spent the whole day yesterday sorting just my clothes. So today I'm keeping my fingers crossed that this will be fast and productive so that I could finally move on to the next level which are the books right there and I still have a lot more on the other corner of my room so let's get started okay so first I'm going to go over the shoes this is my cabinet where I keep my shoes and as you can see, it's already full. Plus, I still have some of my shoes in my mom's room because they have the same shoe size, so she gets to borrow my shoes most of the time. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna gather all of these in one place. So let me just put it right here. Okay. See, look at that. I've never worn this yet. Oh, and by the way, as you can see, I burned myself yesterday. Look at that. So sad. Guys, if you know any tips on how this wouldn't turn into a scar, please comment down below. I don't want these to become mark or a scar. <laughs> a few inches later. Now I am finished gathering up all my shoes in one section. And these are all of it. Uh-huh. There is more. There is more right there. And more. And oh, I thought it's not gonna end right there. So these are all my shoes. I suppose, I hope. <laughs> so now let's go over one by one and let's see which sparks joy and which one am I willing to let go? Okay, let's see. This one. As you can see, there is still a tag. Oh, so which means I've never worn this. And I don't think I would want to wear it. So this could go. Thank you so much. Okay, this one. Okay, look at that. It's already chipped and dusty. So this is really nice, you know, a nice pair of boots. So sexy, but because it's broken already so I'm gonna have to let go of these oh, I'm so sad I don't get to wear these more often okay this one uh oh these are comfortable shoes maybe maybe you're gonna be at the maybe pile <laughs> because I still haven't made up my mind so in case you are stuck in one item, you can put it on a maybe pile and come back to it later to make the process faster. This will definitely go on bye-bye. Thank you so much. 
You have served me well. I think I was using that shoes on my first year as a Zumba instructor. Where I don't have the money to buy the good Zumba shoes. <laughs> These are my pair of flats which I like. Oh but look at that. Okay, so they're going to bye bye. I'm keeping these as well. So cute. During the days I want or I feel like being dainty or just casual with a little bit of femininity, then I can wear this. Yeah. Okay. Oh, so this is what I'm saying. My pair of Zumba shoes, which. Also, I don't get to wear recently, but you're gonna stay with me, okay? I it's still in the box, so means I take care of these very much. Another pair of Zumba shoes right there, and I'm still not willing to let go, but it's kind of dirty, as you can see. What about this? Okay, mm, look at this. I've never worn these as well. It has a, it's a like a hidden heels inside. It might come in handy one of these days, so I'm gonna keep it and try to use it more often. Now. Boots, I would definitely keep these. This is my one and only boots. Okay, heels right there. I think I want to let go of this. Okay, maybe I'm gonna give it to my mom. She's a bit small, so she can wear this. <laughs> Hi, mom. I love you. Okay, these I'm keeping. Oh, it's a pair of heels and I really love this. It's nude, so it, it goes with anything. Any dress or any jeans as well. These, I love it. So I'm keeping it. Keep as well. Okay, dancing shoes, of course. I need that for my job. Keep and get. Okay, there you go. <sighs> so, I'm done. Let's see which are the sh shoes. That I let go. Okay, right here. These are all. Thank you very much. Wonderful shoes. There you go. Now I'm done with the shoes. Let's move on to the bags. All right, which are right here. Those are my bags. It's time to put them into one pile. Okay, so now we are in the bag section and I'm going to go over one by one to see which one is going to stay with me and which ones are going to go. So starting with this, this is definitely Spark Joy for me. I love it. It's a gift from my Mommy Rose. Mommy Rose, if you're watching this, thank you so much. I love this bag and look, it matches my dress for today. <laughs> Okay, so you will definitely be with me for a long time. Oh, by the way, look at these. <laughs> I don't know if these falls in the bag section or on the papers, but raise up your hands right there if you are one of those like me who loves collecting paper bags. <laughs> oh gosh. Panel bags are a thing for me, but you know, I haven't used them in the past months. In, I don't know. I don't know. I rarely buy bags, guys. So if I do, it means I really, really like them. Or they're, or they're, they are a gift to me. So, it's so hard for me to choose right now. What are these? Why do I have these on the bag section? And these two. Oh, I remember. It's for, say, it, it might come in handy for bag storage. Okay? But certainly not this. What bag can I possibly put in here? Oh, look at this! It's Mickey Mouse! All Mickey Mouse, I'm gonna keep it. It's Spark Joy for me. Another one which I love so much. Look at that, see? Guys, so what I'm doing is I'm just showing you all my bags. I'm not really doing coloring method. <laughs> one eternity later. Finally, guys, I am done sorting and organizing my bags. 
Most of the big bags are already in the door box while my clutches, panel bags, handbags, and other small bags are in the big bag right here. That's right, my dear friends. It's Marie Kondo's brilliant trick of organizing bags. It is called a bag within a bag. It has totally changed the way I organize my bags. And look at that. It just saves a lot of space. I also like how I use the concept of vertical filing in these bags. These are my mostly used bags, so in this way, it makes it easier for me to look for the bag which I would like to use whenever I go out. Now, you may have noticed that I put all my bags in cotton cloth bags or non-woven bags. This is really helpful to prevent your stuff from having fungus. Plus, I also make sure to put some silica gel inside. And there you go. It is neatly placed right there. As for my shoes, since I cannot buy any shoe organizers at the moment, I just figured out a way on how to put it in properly and conveniently in my shoe cabinet. And ta-da! I am also applying vertical filing right here. I make sure I can see all the shoes that I have, nothing is piled on top of the other, and it's very easy to take out. So that's pretty much it for this part too. Basically how I ended up organizing my bags and shoes. Thank you very much for watching. See you on the next episode.